we'll only uh, hear the uh, uh, items on the agenda. Uh, I want to ask uh, Beth Ralph to say a prayer and at least in a pledge of flag. Lord, we just come for you tonight and we uh, just ask your guidance. <coughs> and Lord, we uh, appreciate the opportunity to be able to uh, serve uh, Ohio County in this way and to serve you, Lord. And Lord, as we uh, bring these matters before tonight, just uh, help us keep focused on uh, what's best for all that will benefit Ohio County. Uh, Lord, we just love you. We just give you all the glory and the praise for all that you do for us. And uh, Lord, we just hope that uh, each master, each elected official keep their eyes on you and not on us. And uh, and just take us forward. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag, the flag of the United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Thank you, Beth. Uh, before you have the uh, February 13th uh, minutes, do I have a motion to approve those? So moved. Motion by Sam. Second. Right. Second by Jason. Get the minutes. Are there any... Uh, they didn't... You didn't get them on the email or anything? Uh, I didn't get the minutes, no. Okay. Uh, they're on, they're on the KSBA website? Yeah. I can put them out there. Okay. I don't think they're not putting them out with yours and Larry's. I'll put them out there. Have a motion to approve? No, we've got a motion and a second. I'm sorry. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. Motion carries. Before you have the bills claimed payment, and transfers, uh, they're there uh, to have motion to approve those. No late this. So motion by Larry Camp. Second. Second Sam Small. I got some discussion. Okay, discussion. And out of reserves into Rochester Ferry. That's the Bill Butler County Senate's for Okay. Uh, I'll tell. I explain this to everyone. Uh, several years ago, Butler County and Ohio County became partners on the Rochester Ferry. The uh, deal was it would operate from the money the state uh, paid. If for any reason it fell short, uh, each county would split the difference. Uh, we have a good reserve in the money down there, but it cannot be spent for improvements on our buildings. We had a building, a house that was in bad shape, and we fixed it up, and now it looks like a brand new one. Uh, and this has been in the process for several years, and uh, and it is now completed. It really looks nice. So which house is it? Right at the ferry. The one where the lock keeper stays in? Yes, yes. Now, I mean like the, you know, that's where the... Ferry keeper, yes. The one that's running that day, just that little bitty house? No, no. That We paid for that in 2012. That's the only other expense this county's ever had. It was 12000 Now, this was the house where the ferry operator stays for emergency situations and things like that. It's the house that he stays in. But now, Butler County paid half of it? Yes. But it's, I didn't know about it, so is there a bill that I can look at? Or? Yeah, it's, it's pretty thick. It's all the itemized tickets. Butler County. One of the managers over there did most of the labor. It's all, and the, and the road department guys and everything from Butler County did it. And while we're paying the first half of the materials. What did they do? Because that had been $20,000 worth of renovation. Yeah. yeah, pretty much everything. Looks pretty good. I also had a question. Animal shelter. There's a vet service bill of thirteen hundred and five dollars. Uh, Rough River Vet came to us and had some bills that they had done that the animal shelter had never turned into us, and that was the total that went back to May of last year. So it was more than one account. I mean, it was more than yes. one 
bill on they probably said, uh, 15 or 16 tickets. When we were in that meeting, what they were, they found that they were a month or two behind or something, something that we were, had a, so that's really? what that bill mm -hmm. Yeah, we, that's what Col Dr. Sinclair said to us, and we didn't know about it. So. Well, what about these other ones where it says vet bill $200? Is that for, is that one call for one animal? Those are emergency calls, I guess. So that, that little problem has been remedied in well, a long time. With, with the uh, behind bills, we sure hope it is, but now we've got an awful thing there that we've had such an enormous amount of animals trying to keep them a longer period of time, and we've run in a lot of bills. But, well, I wasn't talking about the bills, I was talking about the time the, the bill come in and didn't get to your office. Yeah, because $1,300 yeah. all of a sudden, you yeah. know, because I'd almost like to have been itemized out to each bill instead of just a thirteen hundred dollar bill. I've I've got it itemized in my office if you want to look at it. Yeah, I'd like to look at that. We'll go back there and look at it. We're supposed to do that on the itemized. Well, they don't send a statement. We were paying by invoice that the animal shelter turned into us and then they came and said, Hey, you have a balance on your statement. So then we started digging back and there were invoices that the animal shelter had not turned into us for payment. And it's taken us a long time to get to the bottom of that. It's been running like this for months, several months. It took us a long time to get back to that. Okay. Uh, Roll ro call, Amy. Bullock. Yes. Barnes. No, since I hadn't seen these bills. Johnson. Yes. Ham. Yes. Northeast. Yes. Small. Yes. Uh, uh, next time, I don't think we're going to take action on this. Uh, Joe, uh, we're going to pass you out something on the proposed wage scales for the road department. Yeah, go ahead and pass it out. Go ahead and pass it out if you don't care. You got one? Yeah. Okay. This is something to take home and look at. It's uh, more of an incentive for you know different classifications and also uh, certifications. Something to look at, and we can uh, we can talk about it at the next meeting. There was no changes made in the committee meeting while ago. No. Okay. I, I am familiar with the stand. Um, moving on, that may or may not be on the agenda the next time we'll discuss it. Uh, Can we get that one paper that Renetta had too that had the cost differences, you know, what it would if it stayed regular and what I think she had a breakdown pay paper. You can email it or yeah, that one. Yeah. Renetta. Oh. Yeah. I, I can just email it. That way I wanna might be good with if we figures. Get your copy and give it to everybody after the meeting so they can look at it that, that, you no. know, in between the meetings. No. I think that would be good to go along no. with this because you know where you're staying where well, no, that's so they, the pesticides, so they can spray on the side of the road. It's new, isn't it? No, we've had them a long time. Some, yeah. It might be a new well, position I, here, but, but it's always It's been an incentive it's, page. It's you something get that. that you've always had, they've had to get in the past, too. But we don't have anybody. Or we've got a few, maybe. But we but got any questions on it, people can call me or Renetta or Keith. And, uh, moving on to road department personnel, what we've got there. Uh, Keith and the Renan, they're not right, ready to put up the names for the uh, positions that they interviewed for. But I do have a status change, uh, and that is to move to, uh, to uh, change for Jason Burden at the road department, paid to be raised to heavy equipment operator level two, effective 1 28, 2018, mostly because of the time he's been there. Uh, and that was go from 1480 to 1532. Um, and I'll, I need to roll call on that. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnston? Yes. Ham? Yes. Morphew? Yes. Small? Yes. Okay. I don't know how many of you are aware of this. You'd never think anybody that worked for the state of Kentucky would do this. But after we decided to uh, 
purchased the oil distributor for ten thousand dollars at the last meeting they said oh we're sorry it wasn't that much if more but keith's been working on keith tell them tell them what's transpired there somehow or another he got his fingers mixed up and he was supposed to get a ten what he told us the first time and then uh, whenever he seemed very messed up he had talked with his boss and they was pretty well straight it had to be 15. and uh, i called him and talked with him and all and uh, it's just an honest mistake he's made and i asked him if we could just split in the middle for 12 5 and he said that he could do that and, and it's still yeah, the truck still well worth the 12 no, five. Yeah. so i think that we need a did they give us anything in writing at 10. i would so me and charlie and Paul was there all everybody heard it you know but he just made him say motion by larry cam to approve the 12 five for second the second by larry morphe any further discussion well from now on we might have to get something in writing with the lead from them because <coughs> That's, yeah. I can see that where that could go. Yeah. Keep on escalating. Uh, so uh, we have a motion to second. So uh, uh, I think we can do this by rope by uh, uh, yays. Everybody in favor say yay. Yes. Yeah. All opposed, no. Motion carries. Okay, we have on the agenda at Joe's request the EMA truck bids. You want to discuss that? Yeah, every year we've been doing this as something me and David looked into and got started on. Uh, it's a way for us to get vehicles into the county at a at a little bit a little bit of a price cut, and it's a, it's been a good incentive. Right now, this would just be advertising for bids. Uh, I think we probably ought to have the finance committee look. And meet at ways we can finance it. Yeah, so probably we, need to advertise to get the price before we do that. We do, right? we do, but we can start looking at, you know, we know roughly what it's been in the past, but of where we could get maybe the funds, you know, right. try to keep from getting into surplus or reserves. So. If we did bids, would that, would that, uh, uh, that they would be good for six months or so, you think? I don't know how long the bids are good for. You know, we've run into that before. Some <laughs> yeah. some bids are all different. Yeah, but but it should be. You know, what we ought to do is make sure that it's good for. Uh, you know, probably a couple months, and that should give us days. enough time to decide how we're going to do it. And the finance committee can meet and okay. and see what ways we could. Uh, uh, okay, you want to go ahead and make a motion to advertise for bids? I would like to. Okay. Wait a minute. Well, there is one other thing. There is one other thing. In the past, we bought these trucks, 1500 size. And me, I can, I don't care what I drive. But if we want to get them, we can pass them on to the road department. Three quarter tons, the only thing they can use to push the snow with. 1500 is going to be no good for them. Uh, it's up to y'all if you want to get like a three quarter ton truck. I brought it up snow. to Charlie that you know, I thought it was more usable, a three quarter ton all around. And we're looking at a difference of like three thousand dollars from a half ton to a three quarter ton. Plus, it's already got snow plow package on it, and we pay half that. Yeah. Okay. So it seems like it's a well venture, and yeah. you know, normally they go to the road department anyway. Yeah. Yeah. You I'm want to put, put that in your motion that it's for a three quarter ton, and that the uh, that the price that they give is good for. Sixty uh, days. Let's let's make it ninety days anyway. Are you That'd be okay. I think ninety days would be better. You know. Yeah. So. Okay. Who seconded? I second. Second by Larry Morphew. Uh, I made the motion. Did you get that that it was for for a uh, three quarter ton and it had to be good for ninety days? Okay. Three quarter ton crew cab, um, four wheel drive. Well, yeah. And uh, Charlie, you will need to. The specs can be picked, picked up at the road. Yeah. Well, no, specs can be picked up at the. I'll, I'll take care of the specs. I'll yeah. take care of the badge checkers. Okay. And double check with any other departments that could be end up getting this that we do have it equipped, you know, on down the road if it gets passed off, that it it meets their specs too. Okay. Okay. Uh, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. That motion carries.
And guess what? We're at the bottom of our special call list. So I declare this meeting adjourned.